Air Base becomes the epicenter of an empire stretching from the Caucasus to the Iberian Peninsula. The Arab nations of the Maghreb during Umayyad star, especially Twi Twi, Kairouan established as a refuge and base for further operations, burgeons into the capital of Ifriqiya. Upa ibn Nafi's foray to the Atlantic coast is met with both triumph and setback, symbolizing the tussle for control. The subsequent Byzantine response and the destruction of Carthage leave an indelible mark on Maghrebi soil. Civil strife among Arab rivals momentarily halts the conquest, only to resume under Abd al. The Maghrebi tests the caliphate's grip, leading to a complex tapestry where local dynasties carve paths beyond imperial control. Arab expansion catalyzes trans-Saharan trade, fostering prosperity and cultural exchange. The Maghreb's landscape becomes a canvas painted with the hues of various Ilad conquest, faces scrutiny. Attributing the end of Christian for centuries mosaic as the Maghreb, adding nos the most, adding Hafshadi, Maghreb evolves through the tides of conquest, resistance, and cultural fusion. The term Maghreb itself emerges as a contested signifier. Its colonial origins cast shadows on its authenticity prompting a revaluation of regional constructs. The Maghreb, a crucible of civilizations, invites exploration not merely as a geopolitical entity on the shifting sands of time. The Maghreb's transformation from a powerful trading hub, the Maghreb-Fofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofofof
The European presence along the Mediterranean edge of Africa went into decline in the 16th century C. With many European powers unable to continue their overseas presence, also contributing to the decline of a North African European presence during this time, slave exportation from West Africa, the potential for wealth from the slave trading took place. <laughs> Nineteenth century C. European powers began a scramble for Africa, where they attempted to secure a place on the global political stage by using satellite colonies for raw materials and economic gain. In the Maghreb, France became the dominant colonial power, taking control of Algeria, parts of Senegal, and a significant port at the entrance to the Red Sea. France also gained control of much of West Africa, a fact and dominance was unable to deteriorate in Turks. In the middle of the 20th century C, a wave of nationalism swept across the African continent that urged European colonial powers to abandon their African possessions. Some in the Maghreb were not so eager to abandon their position as a colony, as the French government often granted preference to their colonies in trade, despite potential economic consequences of decolonization, the movement gained strength, culminating in independence during the late Derivarukavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkavkav
The exploration transcends mere historical documentation. It invites contemplation on the authenticity of regional constructs, the intricacies of identity, and the ongoing dialogue between tradition and modernity. The Maghreb, a confluence of civilizations, remaining narrative, an invitation to the disaster. Then to the heart of Maghrebi history, where each chapter unfolds as a cultural treasure waiting to be unearthed. The royal family of the Berbers becomes a symbol, a gateway to understanding not just a lineage but the very soul of a region that thrives on the richness of its cultural scarps. The Maghreb, with all its complexities, stands as an open book, inviting all to explore and immerse themselves in the time. Thank you for watching up to this time. Bye, Jack Chat for the video. Bye, Jack Chat. Bye. I need air. Again. You are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture scarps trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. They, they